G'day, this is Shay, and welcome back to episode 3 of the Turing Test. So in the last episode we found out about the crew, we found out some information about the place that we are, but we don't know why we're here. We do know why we're here, but we don't know why these people have gone missing, or at least they've got themselves into the base and they've shut themselves in, and Tom, who's the, I guess you could say the artificial intelligence leader, of the mission, doesn't know where they are, can't get to them, and can't tell us even any information. At least that's what we can kind of gather from the information that we've got so far. So we're trying to find out where they are, what they're doing, and Tom's kind of helping us, but there's a little bit of sinisterness from him. So we're not sure exactly what he's about. I'm a bit nervous. So let's keep going and see. Oh, here comes our gun again. What is the next task? can't help but look behind me to see whether or not the door is closed. <sighs> I wonder what would happen if I found that the door was open. Hmm. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Daniel. Chris is presumed dead. Chris. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. An accident. I wonder if she was close to Chris. <laughs> you think? I don't know why I did that, but anyway. Let's put it in here. Oops. Okay, so now we've got this one. Oh, closed door. <laughs> we can't open that door. Okay, let's open this. So that's opens this door. I guess you'd have to make it also so that I didn't muck it up and could just redo it again, right? So somehow put that on there. Wait, if I do this, I'm all mucked up now. I've kind of lost where I was. Just kind of opening and closing things as we go. That needs to be open. But this needs to be closed. I need that to put it in there. So here we go. Oh, glitch! Sometimes you just cannot see the solution clearly. Oh, we're going down. Can we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, yeah. there is not a direct route. The base is bedded under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Yeah. Ah. Okay, uh... E. Can we move this over here? Okay, we need to put that down there. I know these things. <laughs> I need to put this in here. Ooh, bye. And then go up here. Um. And move it a little. I can't get that, can I? No. Too far away. Move that there. Can I turn that off at all? Like the other one? Probably not. Can I go in here? Okay. Oh, oh, what? There we go. Oh, get out of my way! You're in my way! Let's go up here. I there's probably I can't carry those things up here, so what 
Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks logical, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll, put, we'll pick this one up, and we'll put this over here. I'm guessing we could put it anywhere, really, but let's put it here. So you take that, and then move you all the way over to the, the there? There, right to the end, sort of. Okay. And then... I love how if you've played the Talos Principle, it's kind of like in ancient, ancient times, and this is in space time. <laughs> it's great. Bling. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. Really? How? We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruits and vegetables. It helps boost morale amongst others. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Mm. It almost seems a little bit cheaty that I can do that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but hey, if we can do it, we can do it. What's in... Oh, that's the way we came around? What's in there, but we've just been in here, so... Ooh. Uh, let's have a little explore. So we're gonna get three in here. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, we can go down there. They look a little bit uneven. And what does this do? Okay. We will need that over there, so let's just go down here and see what's down here. There's one in here. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, picking this up is going to be a mission. How do we pick it up? How do we get it up there? Is there like a... Oh, there is. A magnet. There we go. So if we put them that just here, and then climb up here. See, this traces back, if you've been following my series so far, this traces back to the idea of whether or not... What? Looks like we could be able to get across there. About whether or not the reason that machines and computers don't have the same level of intelligence as we do is because we learn from experience. And they don't. Oh! Oh, look! I thought I was supposed to move that! That's what I wanted it to move! Lock. Lock. Okay. Well, I guess it's, oh, that, that possibly moves this. Okay, so what's this? Yep. Oh, bling. Okay, it doesn't work though. It's not on. What does that do? Ah, uh, you. I need, to, I need to turn you on, don't I? How do I turn you on? I kind of turned you on before. Uh, okay, let's go E, move you back over here, can I, ah, oh, there we go, cool, okay, that seems logical, now I'm going to move, oh my goodness, are you kidding me, puzzles the long way around, we get over here, E, and, um, Just there. And then this one, we're going to go this way. So it's just there. Can I pull that off? No, I can't pull it off. Why? But why? I should be able to pull this off. Come. Come to me. Come. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so the... Whilst I thought that was a really good idea, it's not. It's not the answer. Now, I can only move that over there or there. So. Oh, this is a tricky one, guys. This is a tricky one. So what, what if I move this here? No, this way. 
This way. This way. Oh, down. Now can I get you? No. This is going to need some thinking about, guys. Um, I don't know. It needs to be... Because, like... That there... Oh my goodness. Okay, um... Okay, wait. I've got another idea. We go this way. We go over here. Can we get that? We can get that. Okay, so if we go E, and then we go across again, to there. Oh my goodness, this is tricky. Because for some reason I can't get it. Um, unless I'm supposed to be able to get it. Am I supposed to be able to get it? And I can't turn, oh, what if I turn this off, hang on, there we go, now I've got that, okay, so pick that up, go into here, okay, how many have I got in here, I've got one, two, one, two, done, can I jump, yay, I can jump, <laughs> okay, on to the next one, oh my goodness. Yeah, that was a bit My of a... purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. Feet? The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. Okay, this is interesting. We can open that. But we need something to stand on there to be able to open that. But what? And this? Oh, this can be opened. Okay, I, can, I see it out of the corner of my eye. I couldn't see it before. It's there. Ooh, what? Nope. Can I get you? Nope, I need another one. Okay. Get you <laughs> and then go in here. See, I'm learning from experience. <laughs> Ooh, I can get through here somehow. And what's down here? Just the way to get back to that one, which can only be gotten by standing on there. Can I get this? No. Really? Okay. So if I get I can't get that one, but I can get that one, so I can go in here. And get this. And that goes, doesn't go down there. Can it go down here? No, but it can go on there, or, I don't want to mess this up, you know, I don't want to mess this up. Uh, I, no, what? Ooh. <laughs> okay, uh, if I put that in there, but I don't think that that's right. I think I've got to put that there, but why wouldn't I want to keep that door open? Um, I might want to keep that door open. Oh my goodness, so many choices! That That is the thing we need to choose, is, I can't actually, okay, wait. That one. Wait. There. So 
that opens that. Oops, so I can get through here. But I can't pick that back up. Okay. So now I need another one of those little thingies. <laughs> no, I'm shut in here. Okay, uh Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is this is a tough one, guys. This is kinda tough. Then we can go up here. Now I've got two balls in here, but we don't need to go in there. We need to go in here. Sometimes you figure it out without even realizing that you figured it out. Ugh. Dark, dank hallway. I guess there are no ghosts in space. <laughs> oh, we need two more. Okay. That must be why there's this one here. And we can go in here. Yay, guys, we've done it. The Turing test. We are achieving. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. If you like this episode, please leave a like down in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell me what you think of the game so far. It is pretty amazing. I'm really enjoying the game so far. So um, let me know if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next episode of the Turing Test. Ciao, ciao.